Hello everybody, I'm so excited. Okay, I start my program to show you my today's topic. I've been rewriting my program using the knowledge of the chapter 5 function to make my program easy to maintain, uh, better clarity, and uh, uh, looking good. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, the piece of music I'm going to oh, okay I forgot to tell you I I turn on the full speed I use a tempo 300 oh that is a uh, super fast but now I want to use a uh, normal okay uh, presentation speed I rerun the program again second bar and you can see Bar. my program now can use the MIDI to display on the virtual piano so stay tuned the next chapter I will be teaching you how to do that diminished chord and in this program I use a uh, red color for the left hand the right right hand use a uh, uh, green color G7 go back to our tonic Later on, I will explain to you my code. Oh, this is a two diminished chord in a sequence. Go back to the G7 dominant chord. Another dominant core, a uh, diminished core. Oh, this is a uh, last serba. the end of the program okay so mm, amazing right now I can use a program to to play back bar prelude in C mm, let me show you my main function okay I use a live loop and uh, I use a tempo 60 use a synthesizer pretty bell and I turn every MIDI note off, okay? Uh, so far, we haven't talked about how to use uh, uh, MIDI to display uh, virtual, our note on the virtual piano. So stay tuned uh, for the next chapter. Okay, uh, the main program after several settings uh, will immediately run the Bob Prelude in C, this function. Okay, so where is the function? Remember function we need to use the define. Okay, this is a bar prelude in C my function. Okay, this is my first bar. You can see my first bar use uh, uh, exactly the same note. Uh, do mi so do mi. Okay, 
This is a C four, Mi, Sol, Do, Mi. Okay, this is a the the element in the major uh, in the first major, and you can see I call the bar bar pattern. Uh, this this another function. So we let's look at that that, that function. Okay, that this function require five parameter, and I implement this pattern into uh, two uh, loop uh, each time and they run it twice. So this is a nasty loop. Da, 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 da. Okay, and you need to figure out how to use it uh, in a way. And very interestingly, uh, this in this function I call another function called play MIDI and play MIDI. Uh, this function they just simply play the note and use uh, uh, release time, uh, change the volume, and right after they play the sound, I send the list MIDI out. Okay, so uh, you can see me, uh, I use uh, a lot of function to reorganize my code okay so that the main program uh, this code program will be very very clear uh, this is a second bar uh, let's look at the mu score second bar is a c d a d f c d a d f okay so i just send the note to the bar about pattern okay because it's the same pattern isn't it okay for, uh, for, for example the major number six there's a sharp right sharp here uh, be aware that the sharp in the sony pi we need to use a s okay and so here we have a sharp in the major 12 we have a sharp right and the same uh, how about uh, flat okay um, we need to use F uh, to represent the flat okay B flat okay mm. uh, even though we use uh, this uh, small letter B to represent the flat in the mu score but uh, in coding uh, you'll be very confused uh, we use a uh, the node name B and the flat small letter B, right? So this is uh, the command, so you need to remember that, okay? Sharp, use a S, a flat, uh, some known semitone note, use the F, okay? Okay, I, see, I think that uh, this is the same pattern, so I keep using the same function until the very last one because the very last one, uh, the pattern changed. Uh, okay, so I use a uh, bar pattern two uh, to represent this uh, this pattern uh, because these two patterns are the same. So I rewrite a, another function called a, uh, a bar pattern two. Okay, this is the pattern two. Okay, a lot of parameters uh, be passing uh, through this function. Okay. So uh, once I've done this, I think something interesting happened. I can change my code. Okay, so now I want to change my code using a tempo, maybe uh, a little bit, a little bit slower, forty A, and I want to uh, move to one octave. Okay, which means I can transpose every node to another uh, higher octave. Okay, so I rerun. Right? Okay, so this is a very uh, important uh, and handy command. And uh, I can also use, uh, use uh, another command, use transpose. Uh, one what does that mean original code is in the key of C now I I transpose one one semitone so now uh, the key will become the C sharp okay 
So if I want to transpose to the G uh, in the key of G, so we need to count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so if I do so, will, the original bar prelude in C will be bar prelude in G. See? Bar prelude in G, right? Okay. If I want to transpose to the F key in the key of F, that will be the bar prelude in F. So you can see how powerful a program could be, right? So uh, uh, that is the reason why I'm so excited to uh, write in the program and share, uh, share the knowledge of the music theory uh, with you. Uh, bear in mind that uh, if you have the clear understanding uh, with the music theory and how knowing how it works, you also can use. Uh, uh, I guarantee you can use uh, the same way to um, make your code, uh, your coding, do the job for you. Okay, because you are the your brain is is like a musician running running first and then, then and then you implement your code inside uh, the sonic pi okay so be sure to uh, review some of the uh, confusing part uh, uh, maybe it's the theoretical part maybe it's the homework maybe it's some uh, uh, chord or scale okay be sure to review your uh, previous uh, my previous video okay Okay, we'll see you in the next chapter and we'll be doing our final chapter. Okay, bye-bye.